Hey, beautiful souls, it's Rebecca. It's such a joy to have you here with me today. If you're joining Lyric and Letter for the first time, welcome. We're glad to have you here. I'm a fellow worshiper just like you and a lover of God's Word. I have fallen in love with God's Word so much lately that you could call me a Bible nerd, a Bible geek, or as I love to call it, a scripture sleuth. More on that later. To our returning friends, it is so wonderful to share this space with you again, diving into the treasures of scripture and song together. Today, we're unwrapping the layers of a brand new release that's quickly found its way into the depths of my heart. It's called My Beloved, and it's a masterpiece from Eliza King's latest album, The Pressing In. Now, this new album just graced us with its presence on March 1st. This song fresh from the heart of worship, invites us into an intimate dialogue with our Creator, echoing the tender whispers of divine love and belonging. It's so new, I had to type out the lyrics myself because I couldn't find them anywhere online. Our walk with Christ is profoundly shaped by understanding and experiencing God's love. A love that's not just a concept, but the very essence of his being. It's the foundation of our faith, the identity marker of our lives and the source of our strength and hope. In a season where I've been needing to be reminded of this love, my beloved became a musical beacon of sorts of God's presence, drawing me closer with every lyric and note. It's a testament to how music can bridge our hearts to the divine, carrying the power to transform and envelop us in God's love. As we dive into the heart of God's love, seeking to understand how my beloved captures and communicates this timeless truth. Go ahead and grab your Bibles. Maybe a journal, find a cozy spot, something warm to drink, and let's journey together, exploring the depth of God's love as revealed in scripture and song. Let's open our hearts to the beauty and intimacy of being truly known and loved by God as we uncover the layers of my beloved. The bread that I feast on, the well that I draw from, the ground that I stand on And the name that I call My strength in the morning My peace in the evening My reason for living in life Just feels too heavy So this is where you'll find So beautiful, isn't it? Now, I did reach out to Eliza and I asked her what was the inspiration of this song. And she was so kind to respond. This is what she said My beloved was inspired by Song of Songs, chapter 8, verse 5, which says, Who is this coming up from the desert, leaning on her beloved? And the desire to depend on the Lord in times when I feel ashamed of my weakness or places where I lack. Learning to allow Jesus to be my strength and to go to him rather than to any other source of strength or peace or joy. Wow. As you can see by what I just shared and nestled within the melody of my beloved and the sacred verses of Song of Songs, there lies an invitation to explore the language of love. This journey takes us deep into a book of the Bible that uniquely celebrates both human affection and divine love. Traditionally seen through two lenses, 
one celebrating human love and the other a metaphorical expression of the love between God and his people. The Song of Songs offers us a profound insight into the nature of God's love. This song, with its soul-stirring lyrics and beautiful singing by Eliza King, it encapsulates this divine narrative drawing us into an intimate conversation with our Creator. As we dive into the song and scripture, we're reminded of the rich tapestry of love that God extends to us, His church, and His bride. Through verses like Song of Songs, chapter 2, verse 4, which says, He brought me to the banquet house, and His banner over me is love. As it states, we're invited to celebrate the protective and cherishing love of God, mirroring the banquet of salvation he offers with this banner over us. As Paul writes in Ephesians 5, verses 25 through 27, Christ's love for the church is likened to that of a husband for his wife, a sacrificial sanctifying love that calls us into a deep, intimate relationship. It states, Husband, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water in the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing that she might be holy and without blemish. This theme of enduring intimate connection is further echoed in John 15, verse 9, which says, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. Here, Jesus invites us to remain in his love, a love that is as enduring as it is transformative. The anticipation of the wedding of the Lamb, as described in Revelations 19, 7 through 8, speaks to the ultimate fulfillment of this intimate relationship, capturing the culmination of divine love and the joyous union between Christ and his church. Here it states, Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. It was granted her to clothe herself with fine linen, bright and pure. For the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. It's in these scriptural foundations and the lyrics of my beloved, we find a reflection of the nurturing, protective, and celebratory nature of divine love. Now, as we continue this exploration together, let's allow the themes of trust, dependence, safety, mutual seeking, and identity to guide us deeper into understanding our sacred identity as beloved by God. Grounded in the tradition of the Song of Songs and the personal communal experience reflected in this song, we journey into the heart of God's love, discovering how deeply we are cherished and how profoundly we belong. With open hearts, Let's dive into the specific ways the lyrics of My Beloved and the allegorical readings of Song of Songs speak to our relationship with God. As we explore this rich tapestry of scripture that underpins these themes, may we draw closer to the heart of God, deepening our understanding of our sacrificial identity as His Beloved. So let's transition into our first theme. Leaning on the Beloved, Trust and Dependence, where we discover the strength found in our vulnerability and the peace that comes from absolute trust in our Creator. Imagine, if you will, standing at the edge of a vast desert. The journey before you is daunting and uncertain. The wilderness stretches endlessly a metaphor for trials and tribulations we face in our lives. It is here, in the vastness of our challenges, that the whispered lyrics of my beloved reach out to us, offering solace and strength. Leaning on my beloved, bearing all my weakness, 
becomes not just a verse, but a lifeline, a reminder of the presence that walks beside us through every trial. Now, visualize a moment of overwhelming struggle where every step feels heavy and the path ahead is shrouded in uncertainty. It's in these moments, Psalm 63 verse 8 whispers to you, I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. This reminds us of the unwavering support that God provides, an ever-present help in our moments of need. The song's admission of bearing all my weakness echoes the sentiment, teaching us that our vulnerabilities are not burdens, but opportunities to experience God's strength and guidance more profoundly. As we journey through the wilderness of our lives, Philippians 4.13 serve as beacons of hope, illuminating the path with the promise of God's strength and care. It says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. This becomes a personal declaration of faith, a testament to the divine power that sustains us, encouraging us to cast our anxieties onto him for he cares deeply for us. And 1 Peter 5, 7 says, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Isaiah 41, verse 13 says, For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. This scripture promises divine assistance and presence. It aligns with the song's narrative, reassuring us of the safety and peace found in trusting and depending on our Creator, especially when we feel most alone. Let's reflect on these moments in our lives when leaning on God transformed our fear into peace, our weakness into strength. This is not just about the trials we face, but about who we become through them, stronger, more resilient, and deeply connected to the divine love that guides us. In embracing leaning on the beloved, we find a beautiful reminder of the strength found in our dependence on God. As we move forward, let these reflections guide us towards finding safety and refuge in His presence further deepening our journey with my beloved. Bread that I feast on, the well that I draw from, the ground that I stand on, and the name that I call, my strength in the morning, my peace in the evening, my reason for living. Diving deeper into our exploration, we find ourselves wrapped in the comforting embrace of God's mercy, a sanctuary against life's tribulation. This divine shelter, vividly depicted in the heart-stirring lyrics of this song, offers us not just a refuge from storms, but an intimate assurance of God's unwavering presence through every season of our lives. Now picture this. And if you're from the Midwest, this picture will come to you very easily. Imagine a relentless storm, winds howling and skies darkening, threatening to overwhelm. Yet in the moment of turmoil, there's a profound peace that envelops us, reminding us of times when God's presence was a tangible shelter, a source of strength a solace amidst the chaos. 
It's a scene that brings to life the scriptural imagery of Psalm 91 verses 1 through 2, where God is our refuge and fortress, as well as Psalm 46 verse 1, revealing him as our ever-present help in time of trouble. The chorus of my beloved resonates deeply with these verses, especially with the invitation in Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30, which says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We also find a comforting assurance in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 4 that says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in our affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted. These scriptures, alongside Hebrews 6, 18-19's promise of hope, as an anchor for our souls, weaves a rich tapestry of God's mercy as our shelter. So take a moment and reflect on the peace that Christ offers, unlike anything we can find in this world. It's described beautifully in John 14, verse 27, which says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Wow. This is an invitation to experience the depths of his peace surpassing all understanding, reinforcing our trust and devotion to him as our ultimate refuge. So as we meditate on these truths, let's have them guide us towards a deeper commitment to God, recognizing him as our sanctuary. Let the melody and words of this song serve as a reminder of the safety and peace found in the shadow of his wings, encouraging us to share this comfort with others, extending the warmth of his mercy and love. In embracing God's mercy as our shelter, we are reminded of the beauty of finding refuge in his presence, a theme that will continue to guide us as we journey through the tapestry of scripture and this song. In a sacred dance of seeking and being sought, Our journey with God unfolds as an intimate pursuit where the essence of divine love is discovered in the mutual longing between the Creator and His creation. Envision a scenario where each step closer to God reveals more of His heart, reflecting the beautiful imagery of Song of Songs, chapter 6, verse 3, where the Beloved declares, a shared devotion, a mutual belonging that transcends the mere act of seeking to becoming a living testament of God's love. This famously quoted scripture says, I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. This reciprocal search is not a mere moment, but a lifelong journey. This is beautifully illustrated In Jeremiah 29, verse 13, that says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. Psalm 27, verse 8, which says, You have said, Seek my face. My heart says to you, Your face, Lord, do I seek. These two scriptures illustrate where the promise of finding God when we seek him with all of our heart and the psalmist's declaration of seeking God's face highlight the depth of our relationship with the divine. It's an active, deliberate choice to seek God's presence, underscored in 1 Chronicles 16, verse 11, 
which encourages us to continually look to the Lord and His strength. Reflecting on the bridge of my beloved, where the yearning to see nothing but the gaze of our true love mirrors this divine pursuit, we're invited to explore the depths of our own relationship with God. It's a journey that challenges us to prioritize our spiritual seeking, making it not an occasional endeavor, but the core of our existence. As we contemplate this mutual seeking and finding, let's consider how our lives reflect this pursuit. Are the moments when God's presence is felt especially near, perhaps in times of prayer, worship, or quiet contemplation? These experiences, these encounters with the divine, remind us of the joy and peace that come from being in God's presence, encouraging us to seek Him even more earnestly. In embracing this theme, we recognize that our relationship with God is built on a foundation of love that calls us to seek Him continually, to prioritize our devotion to Him above everything else. This realization isn't just about our efforts to find God, but also about opening our hearts to the ways He seeks us, inviting us into a deeper communion with Him. As we move forward, let's carry this understanding into our daily lives, allowing this love and devotion expressed in the bridge of this song to inspire us to seek God with all of our hearts knowing that in this mutual search, we find not only God's presence, but also the fullness of his love for us. Let's take a listen to this beautiful bridge. In this sacred dance between the Creator and His creation, we find the essence of our identity and belonging. Echoing through the Song of Songs, chapter 6 through 3, where it says, I am my beloved and He is mine, we're invited into a deep realization of our intimate connection with God, where mutual love and devotion flourishes. This description not only highlights the beauty of our relationship with the divine, but also serves as a cornerstone for understanding the profound assurance of being loved and claimed by God, setting the stage for our exploration of belonging and identity in Him. Galatians 2.20 speaks powerfully to our transformation in Christ. It says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Here we find the mystery and majesty of our identity. Our lives intertwined with Christ's reveal the depth of his love and sacrifice for us. This verse invites us to live by faith in the Son of God, who loved us and gave himself for us underpinning our identity with his unfailing love. Ephesians 1, 4 through 5 and 1 John 31 further illuminate our belonging and chosenness in him. Ephesians 1, 4 through 5 state, For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. While 1 John 3, verse 1 says, see what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. These two passages 
celebrate the divine love that claims us as God's own, affirming our worth and place in his heart. The lyrical affirmation, I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine, resonates with these scriptural truths, inviting us to claim and celebrate our sacred identity. It's a declaration of mutual possession and love, a testament to the profound belonging we have in Christ. This connection between lyrics and scripture enriches our understanding of being God's beloved, highlighting the assurance and love that define our relationship with him. As we reflect on these scriptures and lyrics, let's ponder the transformative power of understanding and embracing our identity as beloved by God. It's an invitation to live out this reality in our daily lives, recognizing the security, purpose, and belonging that comes from being deeply rooted in Christ's love. This understanding not only shapes our personal journey with God, but also influences how we engage with the world around us, reflecting God's love through our actions and our relationships. In embracing our identity in Christ, we are called to a life marked by love, gratitude, and a deep commitment to the one who called us his own. Let this truth anchor our hearts as we continue to explore the depths of God's love for us. This is where you find me, leaning on my beloved. And I've seen his beauty, I'm rooting for all the others. Yeah, this is where you'll find me, leaning on my beloved. No one else could draw. bring our journey with my beloved to a close, we find ourselves deeply rooted in the enduring love story that God has woven into our lives. This exploration has led us through the heart of divine love, teaching us about trust, dependence, safety, refuge, and the profound sense of belonging we find in God's embrace. We've been reminded of our need for God's strength and mercy, the safety of his mercy as our refuge, and the beauty of mutual seeking and finding in our relationship with him. Central to our reflections has been the powerful affirmation of our identity and belonging in Christ. Reflecting on our journey, let's carry the truths we've discovered deep within our hearts, embracing daily the divine love that defines our relationship with Christ. This exploration is not an end, but a beginning, a call to deeper engagement with God, continually discovering the depths of his love and the peace it brings to our lives. So let's take a moment to reflect on a few questions. Please feel free to pause, grab your notebook, and answer the following questions. In what areas of your life do you find it challenging to lean on God? How can you actively choose to trust Him more? Next question. Can you recall a moment when God was your refuge during a difficult time? How did that experience impact your faith? What steps can you take to lean into the love of God more fully, allowing it to transform your life and the lives of those around you? Well, as always, let's take a moment to close this time together in prayer. 
Dear Heavenly Father, in your presence we find our refuge, strength, and deepest expressions of love. As we journey through life, may we lean ever closer to you, recognizing our complete dependence on your grace and mercy. Teach us to seek you with all our hearts, to find solace in the truth that we are yours and you are ours. Guide us into a more intimate relationship with you, where every moment is an opportunity to experience your love more fully. Help us to trust you in your unfailing love, to find safety in your arms and to embrace our identity as your beloved children. May our hearts be continually drawn to you in the assurance of your love that calls us to deeper communion with Christ. I pray all this in your mighty name, Lord Jesus. Amen. So as we gently close this episode of Lyric and Letter, May you carry with you the melodies of this divine love and profound truths that we've explored together. This song is merely not just a song, but a beacon of God's enduring love for us, a time for us to dive in and spend time in His presence. So I encourage you to share the love and peace you found here with someone in your life, perhaps through a word of encouragement, a prayer, or simply by sharing the insights from today's episode. Your gesture could be the very reflection of God's love they need to see in their lives. For those seeking to dive even further into understanding your identity in Christ, I highly recommend In Christ Alone 31 Days to Discover Your Identity in Christ. It's a resource crafted to guide you day by day into a deeper recognition of who you are in the eyes of God. This devotional is available on our website at www.lyricandletter.com forward slash devotional. And it offers a pathway to explore and affirm your identity in Christ. A little birdie told me that yours truly will be doing a live teaching of this devotional starting this summer. Lyric and Letter is not just a podcast. It is a family, a community, a tribe of sorts. I highly recommend you stop by our Facebook group at www.lyricandletter.com forward slash groups forward slash Lyric and Letter and join in on the fun. Weekly, we get together on Monday nights with my husband and I and we study a book of the Bible. Right now, we are currently in an 11-week study on the book of James. And then we share what we're grateful for every Tuesday. Every Wednesday, we share our favorite worship songs. And every Friday, we get together to do thematic verse mapping. Now, if you have never done thematic verse mapping before, I highly recommend it. It will blow your mind at how intimate the Word of God is and how it is alive. Head on over to my website at www.lyricandletter.com and at the top, there is a link to a free thematic verse map. You can download it straight from there. And then head out over to our Facebook group and every Friday there is an event with a Zoom link and you can join us there. We used to broadcast them on Facebook and YouTube, but the conversation is so intimate and so beautiful and so dynamic that we wanted to make it a private event, but you can still join us every week. Thank you so much for allowing me to walk with you today through this rich tapestry of God's love through the song. I appreciate you listening to this podcast and being part of our community. Until next time, may you find solace, strength, and a profound sense of belonging in the embrace of our beloved. Blessings to you upon your journey, and may it be filled with the peace and assurance that comes from knowing that you 
are dearly loved by God. Have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless.